What's up everybody, Rajay back to take a look at another beer. I'm gonna actually take a look at one from Abita. This is their Giacomo IPA. If you're not familiar with Abita, they're actually out of Abita Springs, Louisiana. Have not had this one before, happened to come across this one when I was at uh, getting some beer last weekend. Figure why not give it a try. So I've had some of their other stuff before. It's been okay. It's been not too bad, but um, always looking to experience some different things with some of the other IPAs out there. It's pretty information, um, some pretty neat information, I should say, there on the label. Uh, talks about Giacomo is an American IPA brew with pale, red, and caramel malts. This copper colored ale is liberally hopped and dry hopped with Willamette and Columbus hops. The flavor is bold like the Mardi Gras Indians who marched through New Orleans in suits of feathers and beads. So. That's really the only thing that sticks out on the label. 6.5% um, ABV on this one. 52 IBU. Go ahead and get it open and get it into a glass. So we go ahead and get into the glass. Actually filled this one pretty high. Comes in just about a three finger head or just over a three finger head. Definitely has a lot of that light color, light copper color they talk about. It's a pretty beard itself very clear lots of clarity not any cloudiness really to speak of see if you can see some of that action taking place there on the bubbles but it does have a lively amount of carbonation taking place Let's see if you can try to get it in there for you but anyway you can see how crisp that clarity is and you know it's a nice nice looking beer so far as far as the head, head is slightly off-white, more to the uh, beige type of color. Uh, some pretty good bubble action in there. Head itself has some rockiness. It's got some bubble action taking place, nice and tight. So, which you would kind of expect or one on the head, especially for an IPA. Go ahead and get an aroma. On the aroma, definitely get that hops coming out of the glass. Uh, good moderate aroma here. Kind of picking up some of the Columbus hops. Um, I, as mentioned, Columbus and Willamette are both used here. Nice pine dankness, but also on the back end, getting that tinge of caramel smell. Definitely picking up a little bit of that sweetness. Kind of a pleasant smelling beer. Kind of gives me the idea it's going to be kind of a, one of those sticky type beers, you know, when you think about caramel. But yeah, great candy type sweetness coming off of it. Let's go ahead and get a taste. You do get it with the bitterness. The texture itself is somewhat dry. It does have a little bit of a, um, a wetness in there, but it's not really watered down at all. And it does get a crisp finish on the back end, but it does leave some astringency on the aftertaste as well. I just feel my lips puckering a little bit there. Um... You get somewhat of a mouthfeel. Mouthfeel isn't all too bad. Definitely a sweeter type of beer though. It's um, It doesn't have as much of an IPA feel that you would expect versus some of the IPAs. Um, you have the hop stuff in there, but it kind of more of a malty type IPA. Great beer actually has this one. 52 overall and 30 for style. And I can see where it'll be knocked down for the style portion. Uh, Beer Advocate has it ranked as a 78 being okay. I can kind of see where it would go into that kind of an area. Um, as far as how I would look at this beer, as far as rating it, I'd probably give this beer a... I'm going to give this beer a B-. It's, um, it's an okay beer to drink, um, but i drink it again. If I was at a bar, possibly, would I go out and look for it? Probably not. Um, but I think it's definitely solid. I think it gives a little bit something to be a little bit different compared to some of the competitors out there that have the different specialty type IPAs. I do like a little bit with the sweetness that's in this one, but um, it doesn't do enough to really make it that much stronger of a beer. But I like that they took a risk with it and how they put this one together. But I think a B- is suitable for a beer like this. Get some of the lacing there on the glass now. And, um, wow, I can still taste a little bit of that uh, astringency in the back end. But it goes down easy. So, again, this is the Abita Giacomo IPA. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. Put some comments in the comment section. But, um, 
you know, if you see it out there, um, it's kind of on that fence as far as a beer. You know, if you'd like to take a little bit of a risk and try something different, I would definitely say go ahead and give it a try. But I wouldn't hold any high expectation for it. Um, well, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and finish drinking this one. Definitely appreciate you swinging by to check out another video. If you like what you saw, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, make sure you subscribe to stay up to speed on other videos as they're completed. With that, I say cheers and look forward to seeing you next time. Abita, Giacomo, I'm